We'll just keep the order. Hey, Frida, nice to see you again. Thank you. We've been talking to you a lot lately. That means you're doing well. So um, <laughs> what, what has it been like for you this week to uh, to receive some of the personal recognition that you've gotten from the Pac-12 and um, the national honor you got as well? Um, it's been really cool. Uh, it's just like a great honor to receive those um, awards and like uh, nice to be acknowledged. Um, but yeah, like <laughs> it's also, you know, um, you play well when your team plays well. And uh, the coolest thing about this week has been to uh, just have a good weekend of team basketball and uh, pulling off some really good wins. Where does your parents' video rank among the coolest things of this week? Uh, almost at the top, I'd say. <laughs> They've been uh, putting in a lot of effort into those videos. And uh, yeah, I'm glad that they get they get some uh, attention too, because they are really cool. <laughs> yeah. uh, so uh, obviously, Frida, I mean, you guys get a huge win on Sunday. And you guys, uh, you know, uh, a lot of us want to talk about it because it was such a big win. But you guys have to move on. I mean, um, it was a great win, but you've got some more big games coming up. Um, how important, how much have you as a team talked about, hey, you've got to put Stanford behind right now and we got to focus on Arizona State? Um, I think uh, we did all take a moment and a day to just enjoy it and soak it in. Um, but uh, but you, we're already working on uh, the scout for Arizona State. Um, and, you know, it's that's how it is in the Pac-12. There's always another opponent that needs just as much as uh, attention um, because everyone's so good. So uh, we're all uh, very aware that we have to move on and focus on the next thing. And I think um, we just want to kind of not put that weekend past us. We just want to, um, like, take the feelings and the confidence we have now with us, but focus on our next opponent. How confidence building was that, do you think, think for this team to go out there and play like you did as a team against a full complement? I mean, Stanford was full go. I mean, they had everybody. It's really huge. And I think on um, this team, we've talked a lot about having potential and having an almost winning, almost pulling off the upset. And at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. There's still a loss in our record. There's you don't really get anything out of potential. Um, so I think we just all very, very happy that we uh, got to actually uh, do something with it and uh, stayed focused. Um, and we weren't the team that almost upset Stanford, but we were the team that upset Stanford. And that's a huge difference. Um, and that's something that we'll take with us also just to prove ourselves that we can actually do that and that we can stay focused um, throughout the end of, of close games. And then last thing for me, um, you know, this is obviously your first time going through the Pac-12, um, but how much do you like the fact that you face number one uh, and, and then the next game, you've got to <laughs> strap it up again because you've got another really good team and you got a top 10 Arizona team. How much are you liking the, the competitiveness that's at, at, out there every single day? I love it. Uh, it's been a dream of mine to do this. This is what I wanted. Um, so, and I always, and I also wanted to go to see you because I knew that we can beat these teams. Uh, I don't just want to play them. I want to beat them. Um, so I, I just think it's great. And it's great to see and play against so many great basketball players, having to prepare for so many different types of styles and plays. And it's just really fun to uh, experience basketball this way. Yeah. Thanks, Frida. Like, uh, I like being able to talk basketball with you. Um, how different is Arizona State compared to all the other teams that you've played in the Pac-12 so far? I think Arizona State is more of a defensive-minded team. Um, and, uh, and they rebound really well, which means they look a lot like us. Uh, so I think um, it's going to be a bit different playing against them because um, we'll have to focus in on really executing our offense and uh, not letting them control the pace with their defense. Um, so yeah, every team is really different. I think Arizona State is a really tough team, really gritty team, um, and we are too. So we just have to out-tough them that game. How much do you remember from the scout that you did before Christmas on them? Had you already 
to emptied it all, deleted it from your mind, and, and now you're kind of relearning it here because you were supposed to play them once already. Yeah, I mean, it's still there. It just had to be refreshed a little bit. <laughs> um, but I, I like that we get to prepare for them twice um, because usually we don't have a lot of time, and now it's like we actually have a foundation uh, because we've already prepared for them once that we can build on. And it's going to be like that with um, – all games from now on because we played them once so we can build on what we already know um so yeah i just think it's an event advantage that we have that uh last thing for me and i, I love to ask this of freshmen but i think particularly of you since you have a little bit of international experience can you explain to people outside of the program what it's like to get a scout in college basketball in a power five conference at what what JR and Shan and Coach T, what they prepare for you guys, how prepared you guys actually, that they try to make you going into every game? I think that um, it can't be overstated how much work our coaches put in to scouts and, and making us prepared. Um, it's, it's been definitely more than I've experienced with national team, with the scouts also just because um, there are so many good players. So. You just really have to study it like you do school. You have to know it. You have to know your personnel because when you're on the court, you have to know who you can, or you can go over the screen or you can go under the screen. It's not something that you really have time to evaluate on the court or have time to learn throughout the game because players are just so good here that if you, if you give them their advantage, they'll just, you know, <laughs> they'll just take it. So you really have to be prepared. And uh, I like it. It's also fun to know that other teams prepare for us and we have to really execute well if we want to get um, the things we want out of our plays and stuff, so yeah. Yeah, cool. Well, best of luck. Um, unless Brian's got another question, I'm, uh, I'm good. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys uh, from afar when you guys are in Tempe. Thank you. Good luck, Frida, thanks.